Hey guys, it's Sarah Future. It's a uh, future editing Sarah here. Uh, for whatever reason, the audio to my intro got cut out yet again. This is like the second time in this series that it's been cut out, and it's actually kind of pissing me off a little bit. Apparently, I'll definitely have to check my intro to see if they have sound before I forget about them. But I am addressing the issue, so this is kind of like a put together, together intro. So I'm definitely wearing another shirt. This is like the day after. Uh, I'm gonna film my reaction to the finale tonight, which is actually happening on Christmas Day. Actually, it's around like 1 a.m. on Christmas Day. Day. So if you see me like looking like this, this I might actually toss on my sweater because it's actually getting a little bit colder. But if you see me like this in my next episode, that's why I was editing the video for this particular one and found out that my audio was cut, which in turn makes me kind of pissed off because I really wish my audio wouldn't do that. But Sometimes shit happens, and it's just the way it is, but without further ado, this is my reaction to The Witcher Season 1, Episode 7. We're getting so, so, so close to the finale, guys. I'm actually about to watch it right now, so I will be... After I'm done editing this reaction, I'll be doing the reaction to the next episode, and I'm excited for it. For it, I've actually gotten my husband to start watching The Witcher as well, so I'll talk about that more in the finale portion of this. But I just thought I'd jump ahead and uh, refilm this intro because my audio got lost, which makes me personally sad. I really hate it whenever I'm filming a segment and my footage gets lost because my audio got cut for whatever reason. But I'm just, if you see me in different clothing and makeup, that's why this is filmed the previous day. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into my reaction. Thanks, guys. My only question about the whole time lapse thing is where is Geralt specifically? Like, we know where Ciri is present day. We know she's trying to find Geralt. But... Where is he? That's my only question, like... Where is he present day? I, I know it's all gonna be explained and I'll feel like an idiot later. But I'm a little bit interested to see where he is present day. Like, I know Yennefer and his storylines are in the past. But where are they in the future? Where are serious storylines taking place? I guess that's one of the bigger mysteries, is it? But let's go ahead and continue because we only got like two episodes left. Okay, so the last time someone offered Siri shelter, well, besides the druids, was that one chick in the camps who literally got stabbed to death by her servant. So, I don't know if Siri is ready to trust that everything's going to be okay again. So, I wouldn't be surprised if she says no. But, I don't know, she seems nice enough. I just, I don't trust a lot of people on this show. And specifically because, you know, what it's about. But, alright, she seems nice enough. Let's see what happens. So now I'm, like, doubly confused, because Geralt has already met Ciri. Ciri, yeah, sure, it's, like, past life Ciri, but how come she doesn't know who Geralt is, or where he's located in the future? Like, is there something that happened? I just, I, I don't know, like... The storyline in this episode's kind of rather confusing. I know it all come together at the end of the episode or at the end of the series, 
but uh, I don't know. For right now, it's kind of confusing how she knows him and yet kind of doesn't know him. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and uh, watch the rest. Okay, so she tried to trick him. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I like how she's all like, you and Destiny could go fuck right off. And I'm just all over here like, and that's why you're dead. <laughs> dead in current day. If you would have trusted Geralt. I don't know in the first place. You would have saved a lot of heartache. Actually, she probably would have still died, but you know. At least Siri wouldn't be wandering off, you know. Not knowing who Geralt is, or where he is, or something. Something because you know she'd be protected, and that would have been enough for you, but nah, I had to be selfish like always. God. The more I stay with the queen, the more I don't like her. But, you know, I do get why she does the way she thinks she does. I get that she's scared, but... Girl. Come on. Common sense. Let's go ahead and uh, continue. It really fucking bugs me that all Geralt is trying to do is protect Ciri, and these bitches, Sendra, just pretend, like, just because he's a witcher that he's trash and can't protect her, like, they can, because, you know, that worked out so well for them, right? But, I'm sorry I'm acting a little pissy, I guess, uh, it's just been one of those very long days, days, but, uh, oh no. I just don't know. It just really bugs me that all Geralt's trying to do is protect, you know, who we swore to protect, and everyone's just like, uh, oh, nah, you could fuck off with that whole valiant shit. We don't need it. When actually you do need it because your armies didn't even stop all the forces, and... You could have had your granddaughter safe. I get not wanting to get her up, give her up. Especially to a guy you don't know. But I I'm so sick of people treating Geralt like he's scum underneath their shoe when all he does is protect people against monsters. Monsters who will, like, fucking kill him. It's like, why? Do they treat him like the scum of the earth? I'm... Pretty sure it would get more in-depth in the book if I read it, but really don't understand, so really getting pissed off over here. But I guess it's just the fact that just because they're different, different, they get treated like trash, but just, mm, it doesn't sit well with me. It really doesn't. Why do we have to see Yennefer's old lover? I mean, I get it. He was her first. He was the guy who liked her despite her, what she looked like, and that's awesome. I admire him for that. I don't admire the fact that he fucking sold her out, though. Though, and he's not to be trusted. But I'm just like, oh, come on, don't do that to me. Whenever my ship is Geralt and Yennefer. Yennefer, I don't want her with this douche canoe over here. Well, I wouldn't call him a douche canoe. He's very, uh, misguided. But I wouldn't call him, like, a big old douche. I don't know. I guess I'll see if he's a douche or not based off this episode. But my ship is still Geralt and her. I'm just like, I don't trust you. Because you're a snitch, and I don't trust snitches. But I guess we'll see if there's like a redeeming quality to him somewhere. Like, uh, are we forgetting everything he said to her? Her in the past, too. I guess she's one of those let and let live type of girl gals, but I don't know. It's, it, it, it has been years, so I kind of get it. But I'm all like, why do we have to see this guy? But. <laughs> It's like, ugh. Let's just... Alright, let's continue. They should really entitle this episode the episode of which we all shit on Geralt. <laughs> Geralt, because whenever she's talking to her ex-lover about it's like, oh, they just see, you know, my power. They don't really see me. 
me or they just see, you know, what I could do for them. And I'm just all like, Carol does not see that. Okay, Yennefer. Stop it. Oh, I, I get it. I, I, I know there's other ships in this, but like, please don't go back to this guy. Well, you can if you want to. It's a free country. Whatever you do, you sis, but I don't trust, I, like, my heart, my heart, just like, ugh. Okay, so that ending kind of confused me, but before we talk about the ending, ending, let's talk about how all the storylines are interwoven together. So I don't know how Yennefer plays into all the last minute details. Details. I know there was something with her and Tessia, I one of her pronounce her name. I know that's not how you pronounce it pronounce it, but I know, like, she wants her to join her forces, and that's probably gonna be introduced in the last episode. I'm just not sure what, how, uh, Geralt was apparently down below when all this shit was happening, and then whenever they were going to get him, he had already escaped. But where he went after the battle is what I really wanted to know, which I won't get until next episode again. I guess they can't do everything at once. I, I really hope the last episode is a pretty good episode because some episodes have been really fucking good and then the other half have just been, okay, a little bit info dumpy for my taste. I think... The Witcher does good at having a balance, like, having a balance of episodes that are just there to provide information, and then having just, like, killer episodes that are just, like, super awesome. But, um, I'm a little on the fence about next episode. Episode, and the ending kind of confused me a little bit. Uh, I know that... Her friends basically just attacked her because, you know, <sighs> you know, her, uh, fuck the queen and everything, and everyone hating on the queen of Sentra, and her being, you know, just the butt of everyone's, uh, everyone's abuse because the queen is no longer there to take upon what all their hatred and shit for her, for her, so they're attacking Siri instead, and then Siri, you know, because she's being attacked, her powers come out, and I guess there's like a prophecy at the end of that, which usually I'm tr good at trying to decipher prophecies, but since I only have like one episode left, the prophecy isn't as important to me. I guess it will be important if I get all the context of what's happening. I really am gonna probably go on Audible and get this book so I could see the different backgrounds and how the story really plays out. Out and uh, apparently there's a lot of information in the book that isn't in the show so hopefully if I read the book for a little bit more background background then uh, I could figure out what the hell is going on here cuz I'm hella confused but there you guys have it that was my reaction to The Witcher Season 1, episode 7, I'm gonna go take a shower. Maybe do the last episode after my shower. Shower, I haven't decided yet. Uh, are you guys enjoying The Witcher? Have you finished it yet? Comment down below if you think that the TV... Which one is better? What do you think is better? The TV show, the book or the video games, uh, comment down below, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!